create with the library. I'm Mary Baker from the Brunswick branch and today in time for the season we're going to talk about making bows. Now it makes total sense in loads of cases to buy your bows but every once in a while you need just the right color or size or you need so many of them that you need to make your own. So today we're going to talk a little bit about making bows. But first, before you do that, you need to talk about ribbon. There are loads of different types and you need to have the right type of ribbon to make the type of bow you're interested in. There are a couple of different things to pay attention to when selecting your ribbon. The first is whether it's single or double-sided. If you look at this one, you can see you've got a lovely pattern on one side, but when you flip it over on the other side, it's gone. This is a single-sided ribbon. The other thing that this one has is this one's got wire. You can see that the, that the uh, ribbon will stay where I place it. It also remembers those crimps. You can see that there's a crimp right there that's now not going to go away. So be uh, selective in your, in, your, uh, in your ribbon choice and make sure that you have what you need. Wire ribbon is very helpful a lot of the time. This one is also a single-sided ribbon. You can see you've got some pretty sparkle on one side, but you go on the other side and it's a totally different material. So this is one that uh, I've used for one of our bows and uh, there's a special technique to use when you're using this to make sure that your bow looks the way you want it to look. Of course, there's always curling ribbon when we are going to make a curly bow. And then uh, finally, the difference between something like this one, which is a fabric ribbon. This is uh, a lovely piece of ribbon, but it doesn't have any body to it. It just is going to fall. So if you're using it for a ribbon, you're not going to get nice stiff folds that'll, that'll hold up. That's where your, your wire ribbon comes in real handy. Even the one I showed you before, uh, this one's got some body to it. It will stay in place. Um, but the fabric ribbons, they're lovely for certain things, but not say for a, a puffy bow. Our first bow is going to be this lovely poinsettia bow. This is made with a ch uh, chenille fabric, but it doesn't need to be. You can make it out of anything that appeals to you. In this case, I'm going to use burlap. It is a wired ribbon here. And you're going to need to have four pieces of that. Take your scissors and you're going to want to cut a point at each end of your burlap. Now, here's Here's the tricky part, and you're gonna find it's not very tricky. You're gonna take the two long ends, fold them together, then you're going to fold them again, so that your bow or your ribbon looks like this. You're gonna to continue to do that four more times. All four pieces together, one, two, three, four, be taking your uh, chenille wrap, your pipe cleaner, give it a good twist around. You can use florist wire too if you like. I like the chenille because I just happened to find it. It was exactly the same color. Now I would like to make some little floral centers. So these are uh, fake floral stamens that you can buy at the craft store. And at this point, I'm just going to twist those around. Don't need to be real fancy here. So I've got my stamens in here. Now we get to make it look like a poinsettia. And you do that by pulling it out and pushing up in the center where that fold is. Pulling out, pushing up. We're going to do that with all eight of these leaves. If you were a botanist, you would call these leaves bracts rather than petals or leaves. That's the actual name of them, if anybody cares. And there we go. All eight of them. You can see now that it started to look like a poinsettia. Um, I'm going to 
one here that doesn't want to cooperate, does it? You can also see that my leaves are a little bit lopsided. I've got some that are a little longer on one side, some that are a little shorter on the other. Feel free and grab your scissors and uh, straighten those on out. But there you have a very simple, very pretty bow, a very unusual bow, a poinsettia bow. The next bow is the showiest of all of them, the poofy bow. It looks really complicated. It's not, don't let it intimidate you. Um, I've got some ribbon here, which we're gonna to use to make that bow. We also have a piece of wire that you're going to need to be able to wire it all together. And of course your scissors, and that's really about all it takes. So let's get working. I'm gonna keep the ribbon on the bolt. And one thing to be aware of, this one matters if it is a single or double sided. Now this particular ribbon could go either way, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to pretend that it is a single-sided ribbon so you can see what you need to do to be able to make that work for you. So first of all, you're going to start by making the center of your bow. Clean up that edge a little bit. So you're going to take your, your ribbon and you're just going to curl it into one interior loop. So you've got a loop here that's going to be your center. Then I like to roll just a little bit past all the way around so that I can tuck that end in a little bit and you're going to pinch. You can see how that makes a nice puffy center to your bow. Then you're going to start making the loops of your bow by taking your material, your ribbon, and folding it over to whatever size you'd like. Some people like to use a uh, cutting board so that they're always doing the same size. I don't really care too much about that. I just kind of look at what size I'd like. Now remember, we're pretending that this is a single-sided ribbon, and the thing that happens with a single-sided ribbon is you start with the correct side, you fold it over, your correct side is now underneath, and it's the incorrect, the wrong side on top. So at this point, I have to twist my bow so it's right side around, and then I'm making another loop and bringing it back to the center. That is all you're doing with this bow. Like I say, it looks really spectacular, but there's not that much to it. So I'm gonna keep looping and twisting and pinching until I've got six of these leaves and that will make my bow. The other thing I'm doing is I'm pulling it off a little bit to the side to start making that nice circular look to my bow. And there we go. We have six loops, two, three, four, five, six, all roughly the same size, all pinched together here in the center. I'm going to pull off a little bit extra ribbon and make one more really big loop here at the bottom. That's going to be the tails on my, my ribbon. So now I'm ready to roll and cut off my extra and I can get rid of this bolt here. And now I'm going to be taking my wire and poking it right through the center of the bow. I'm going to pick up all of those little pinched loops as well as this loop down in here and twist them all together in the same wire. Flip that over so you can see it. Doesn't have to be fancy. Does have to be tight. I do like to use a pair of needle nose pliers and I forgot to bring those with me. But needle nose pliers helps it get that really tight. Now I'm gonna take this, which are gonna be my, my little tail ends. Give that a cut because I want them to be pretty. I'm gonna fold them in half. I'm gonna cut again, make a notch from the outside to the inside. That's what gives you your, your lovely little notched ends. And now let's make this bow pretty. And you do that by pulling your ribbon out. And 
this is why you like to have wire ribbon. Wire ribbon is pretty forgiving of any mistakes. It'll allow you to pull your bow so that uh, they are, your loops are going where you want them to go and your bow looks the way you want it to look. This is a time where if you've got it, you can take your uh, wire ends here, wire it to something. This is a whole lot easier to do when your bow is holding steady onto something, and it's a whole lot easier to pull out the ends and make it look like a beautiful, attractive, professional bow. See, it's starting already to look like it's supposed to look. And there you have it. In just a few minutes, you can make yourself a lovely uh, puffy bow of your own. Our last bow is going to be the curly bow. Looks great, so easy to make. For that, you're going to need four pieces of curling ribbon and one small piece, which we're going to use to tie it together. Curling ribbon, you're going to need roughly six feet. Very easy to curl. Open up your scissors carefully. Easy peasy, no big deal. So, so what we're going to do is take our curled ribbon, find roughly a center point for each one. Not the center point. Let's try. There we go. Center point of each one. You can see we have a lot of static today. So there we go. So now we have the center. Pulling them out a little bit and finding the center again. Just let it drop. There's our center again. One more time, we're going to pull it out, find the center. In this case, I've got a little extra red, so we're just going to find its center, tuck it on in there. There we go. Now we have our extra piece. We're going to be tying it around the center. Usually, this is where I use my teeth, but I'm going to try and do it without. There we go. Nice and tight. You've got a lovely bow. If you want, you can cut some of these folded ends so that you've got a few more strands, curly strands, to make it that much more exciting. And, of course, you're going to tie it onto your package with your flat piece. There it is. Easy, beautiful, full, curly bow. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Create with the Library. And if you have ideas for other episodes, please leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching. And remember to give this video a like and subscribe to the Medina County District Library YouTube channel for more content every week. Thank you.